In World War I, toxic gas was a weapon of choice. Today, law enforcement uses a less potent recipe to pacify a room or control a crowd. But what's inside a can of tear gas? It starts with charcoal. That's wood burned until almost nothing is left but carbon. Just like in your backyard barbecue, charcoal keeps things smoking. But instead of lighter fluid, we add a dusting of ancient chemistry, potassium nitrate. In the 13th century, it was known as Chinese snow, a key ingredient of gunpowder and fireworks. KNO3 makes charcoal easy to ignite. And as it burns, it releases oxygen, fueling the fire. At 2,500 degrees, tiny grains of silicon melt into super hot pellets of glass that spatter and ignite other flammables in the mix, like potassium chloride, which makes smoke. But it's also dangerously explosive if conditions get too acidic. That's where magnesium carbonate comes in, the same stuff you find in fire extinguishers. It neutralises acid, keeping the whole thing from turning into a bomb. So instead of blowing up, all that sound and fury activates a chlorobenzyl malononitrile, the lacrometer, or tear producer. It's a king of irritants, attacking the mucous membranes of your ears, nose and lungs, making you cough, choke and go temporarily blind. It would be deadly at concentrations more than 6,000 times greater. Feeling wired yet? Subscribe.